Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and as you'll have seen by the title, today I'm doing a full face of indie makeup. Um, I have popped on my brows and um, partly because um, I don't think they're very interesting to watch and there's plenty of videos where you see me do my brows um, but also I'm not 100% sure if P. Louise is classed as an indie brand um, but I have used the P. Louise Oh So Brow to Full. There's the eyebrow gel and the pencil. Um, I have the shade Espresso. I've been really loving this actually. Um, it actually looks like I've got more brow hairs than I have. I love that. Um, I've also popped on some of my Madage Beauty London Strawberry Lip Envy Lip Balm. I love this. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Froggy eyes on. I look bizarre ears out <laughs> I look bizarre but it's all, it's all good you're used to that by now so the eye primer that I have is from Ace Beauté and it is the eyeshadow amplifying base in the shade light um, it does come in a squeezy tube so I'm just going to pop a bit of that on my hand it looks to be yeah, it kind of reminds me of P. Louise base, um, but we'll see once it's applied. I'm just going to apply it with a brush, the same as I do with my other bases. And yeah, this is definitely reminding me of the, uh, the P. Louise base, um, which is a good thing because I absolutely love my P. Louise base. I don't know if this dries right down. Whether it's more like the uh, like the ABH and the Juvia's, which dry down a lot more, um, or like the P. Louise, which stays slightly tacky. We shall see. Yeah, so far so good. Um, it's definitely on the lighter side, which is obviously it's the shade light, but. <laughs> It's uh, lighter bases are good for making colours pop more, so I am not mad at that at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat it in with my finger. Yeah, this is very much like the P. Louise base. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette I'm going in with is the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me at Midnight palette. This is just beautiful and I am using this palette for my beautiful friend Eva. So Eva, my darling, I hope you love the look. And oh, if I can get it open, I'm going to use the mirror in the palette. And I'm first going to go into Midnight and I'm going to be placing that right kind of in the outer area it does have the little sparkles in but they don't show up on the eyes which is good at least I don't remember them showing up on the eyes no um the black well I think this is pretty much the same the black in the uh meet me in the underworld is the blackest black and just so so easy to work with i think lois has really nailed it just make sure it's really packed on where i want it bring out the edges a little bit bring them out blur them out um i just tap over the edges slightly just to feather it so it's easier to blend with the next shade. Yeah, this eye primer is performing exactly the same as the P. Louise base from what I can gather so far. Just the performance so far is the same. I'm undecided as to whether or not I want to go in and do an all matte look. I think that could be that could be really nice yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do 
going to do an all matte look. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to go in with is Disturbed. And it is this beautiful deep, like night sky blue. It is beautiful. And I'm just going to start by just kind of stamping it around the edge first. These eyeshadows are so good to work with. Apologies if you can hear the washing machine going. And these shades just blend, shade shadows just blend so perfectly, perfectly together. So easy to use. She's really nailed it, I believe, with this formula. I'm just going to gently buff the edges of the blue just to make it easier to blend in the next shade apologies if I sound like a broken record <laughs> and then I'm going to go into nocturnal the green mats And again, 50% on, 50% off, kind of stamping, wiggling. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call the technical term for that, but I do love working with uh, Lois Cosmetics palettes. The shadows are just always so easy to work with as I do have the meet me in the underworld palette also which I adore it is just such a beautiful palette sort out the edges and when I've gone through and there uh, blended the shades better okay so i'm just going to go back through those three colors just to make sure that they are blended nicely okay yeah i'm pretty happy with the uh the blend on that so i am going to cut my crease using the p louise cut carver and um, this little pot of i don't know what you call it stuff that takes off eyeshadow so I'm just going to pop a bit on the back of my hand. I will probably speed through this part. It's not very exciting, but we'll see. Um, but this you just stamp on where you want the cut to be. Okay, so with that done, I'm just going to take a little cotton bud and I'm going to use that to wipe away all of the carver. Okay, and then just going back with the Ace Beauté Eye Primer, I'm going to just fill that in. And I'm just going to just tap over the outer edge here just to kind of blend in blend it into the, the black a bit there okay so I think I'm first going to go into phase and I'm going to pop that right on this inner part here Just uh, making sure to take it right up to the cut. Really packing it on there. And 
flicking it just a bit more up at the top there and then then we're going to go into new day and i think i'm quite in the mood for some matte looks it's not something that i do very often but i do love how they look And yeah, doing the one that I did last night just kind of, uh, you know, got me feeling it again. Yeah, just taking this right next to the purple. Not blending yet. Maybe we'll do, and we'll do when I go back through the shades. I'm kind of tapping it, tapping it in just a, a little bit. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to go into is Mysterious. And I'm going to be popping that right on this outer part here, going into the black. Stunning, these shades are beautiful. It is still going to be a, a pretty dark, pretty dark look, and um, it is a pretty dark palette. Um, but that is absolutely fine by me. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to quickly go back through all of those shades and just try and get a bit of a blend going. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. I'm just going to take a bit of the black Midnight. Yeah, just tapping it into Mysterious. Just want to make sure it's first deep enough, but then... Also blended little bubbles. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this. Uh, so I am. I'm going to quickly nip off and clean up and then we'll come back to do base. So just stay where you are. Okay, so I'm all cleaned up. Before I go in with the base, I think I'm actually just gonna go in with the liner. So I'm going to be using the Altitude Cosmetics Split It Painter's Paradise Palette. I love this. I did receive it in PR, but that doesn't change the fact that I love it. And I need to decide on what shade to go in with. Do I want a metallic? Actually, no, I don't. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here. That's the one. No, I've just got a little pot of water. I'm using one of my Makeup by Tammy liner brushes, the 00. zero. And I'm just going to wiggle that around in there to make sure that I get a nice paste. And then I'm going to take that just right across the lid. Seriously guys, this Split It palette is just amazing. I mean, I've got a load of the Cake It liners from Artichoke Cosmetics and I love every single one of them. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now for primer, I've got the VE Cosmetics Witchcraft Beyond the Veil Primer. I love this. This is such a brilliant primer. It's very hydrating, but it still provides a really nice base for the the rest of the for the foundation. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah, it's nice and hydrating. I do recommend this primer if you're on the fence about it. So let's go in with foundation. And I've got the Madage Beauty London Skin Perfect Photo Ready Foundation. I have the shade Medium Light Porcelain. And I'm going to go in with my Nikia Joy sponge to apply this. I've been really enjoying using this sponge to apply my foundation i've just found that it's gone on just so nicely i think actually this might be the first time i've applied this foundation with a sponge it's definitely more like sheerer with a sponge but i don't mind that that's what you have the uh concealer for the foundation really is just kind of there to even out skin tone although this does have quite nice coverage and it is applying beautifully with this sponge yeah this Nikia Joy sponge is definitely the best the best sponge blender that I have tried I don't know what it's made of but it feels completely different to all the other sponges I've used and yeah, I love it. Then the concealer I'm going in with is also from Madage Beauty London. It is the Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Medium Light Porcelain. Again, the same. And so I'm just going to pop this everywhere where that I want it. I have been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye a lot recently um but i'm pretty sure it cosmetics is not an indie brand i'm just going to use the same beauty blender to kind of bounce that in just using the same end that i used for the foundation just for around my face and then i'll use the more tapered end to go under my eyes around that area yeah i do i love this it makes me not want to use my brushes my foundation brushes so for cream contour i've got the danessa myricks beauty it's just cream contour in the shade medium one and that's what it looks like i'm just going to take brush I do really like this it's slightly warmer but that's okay that's okay I do tend to prefer more cool toned but this is such a nice formula It just looks more warm toned than it did when I, well, than it did, no. It was more warm toned than I expected, is probably the, uh, the correct way to say that. Um, but it does look super, super pretty on the skin, as you can probably see. This is the only thing I've tried from Danessa Myricks Beauty. Um, I really would love to try some more bits, but yeah. They're a little on the expensive side. I will get around to getting some more at some point. And for cream blush, I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Lisa Lip and Cheek Balm. It's rubbed off the back, but I'm pretty sure this one is plum. And just pop 
that on. Look at that. This is a really nice formula. I have do I have all of the shades? Do you know I'm not sure. I might have. <laughs> um but yeah I do really really enjoy these. And they are very pigmented, as you can see. But they do blend in. Lovely. So the finishing powder I'm going to be using, finishing powder, setting powder, is from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. It's the Velvet Finishing Powder. Jace is back from his walk. I'm going to be using this sponge. This is also from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. And... Going to be first setting under the eyes. Around the nose. And just pushing it, pushing it in. This powder is absolutely amazing. It really does make your skin look completely flawless. I'd only ever seen uh, Nikia Joy do this, like to press the powder in with a damp sponge. And at first I thought, how on earth does that work? But as you can see, it works beautifully. And it does make it last longer, I feel, the makeup. I definitely want to try some of Nakia Joy's, um, her pigments. She's got these like multi-chrome ones and they look beautiful. And I think I've said it on another another video um my friend nicole has a few of them and while we were on video call she swatched them to show me and they just look absolutely stunning so definitely going to have to uh have to get some of them at some point i will probably wait until there's a sale on but I did find that with Nikia Joy, if you spend over a certain amount of dollars, even though I was in the UK, I got free shipping. And as you can see, the effect is the effect. It leaves a flawless looking finish and I'm loving it. I would say definitely my favourite powder at the moment. I'm going to chuck on some more of my lip balm because my lips feel really dry. So I think first off I'm going to go in with some contour stroke bronzer. This is the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade Dune. I love this. I just need to find a brush. These Artitude Cosmetics brushes are amazing. I've been loving both Artitude Cosmetics and the Lois Cosmetics brushes. And I do have some of Odin's Eyes brushes as well, and they are also really nice. Yeah, just get that. This is just the perfect kind of shade, and it's so, where it's buildable, it's uh, quite difficult to end up looking muddy, does that make sense? It's difficult to overdo it because it is such a really nice buildable formula. I have a couple of Nabla's foundations as well. I think it's the only two they do. The up close one in the little bottle and the is it Skin Realist? I have both of those and I do love both of them. Um, today I just tried to fit in as many different indie browns as I could um 
yeah it's not that I've picked my favourites out of them necessarily it's just yeah. they're the first ones I picked <laughs> ah under eyes should I finish my upper eyes first yeah let's go let's go with that so the mascara I'm going to use is from Fenty Beauty which I'm sure I think it's an indie brand if it's not I apologize I can't use my Madage Beauty one because it's too old and I need to get a new one so this is the Fenty Beauty full frontal is it? I can't remember the rest I can't read it it's too tiny it's this one I'm just gonna chuck some on my upper lashes. I'm still not overly sure what I think of this mascara. It does seem to be better now that it's been opened and used a few times. Um, but yeah, it's, in my opinion, nothing worth, like, worth. It's not worth buying over some of the cheap alternatives. I find that my very um trying to get feature length mascara. I've been loving that. There's one from She Glam, uh, 17 makeup, and going down the indie route, there's Madage Beauty London, their Madeja Lash Mascara, which I would have used if it wasn't so old so yeah I really need to replace that at some point so I'm going to pop off to pop the lashes on um, these are from Artitude Cosmetics in the style Ego um, I did receive these in PR I absolutely love them you've probably seen me wear these over and over um, so yeah I'm just going to nip off and pop these on and then I'll come back and we'll finish the face so just stay where you are Okay, so I've popped on the lashes. I also popped in some earrings and a necklace. Um, these were gifts from my beautiful friend and sister from another mister, Bridget. That is beauty goddess Bridget. She also has a channel over here on YouTube. I will link her channel in the description box below. Go check her out if you don't know who she is. So guys, let's crack on with the lower lash line. So I'm just going to go in with, I'm going to go in with a bit of Midnight just for the very outer edge. Just using the same brush I did for the lid. Yeah, not taking too much, just a little bit. She says. That's more than a little bit, isn't it? It's okay. I'm just making sure that it joins up. Joins up with the upper lid. Right, okay. So I'm going to go in with Disturbed to blend out the black. And then on the inner part of my lower lash line, I'm going to go into Phase. Which is the purple we have on the inside of inside of the lid in a part I don't know again my describing skills leave a lot to be desired now these I show they just really are beautiful they're pigmented they're easy to blend and create a beautiful matte look I think I do love the shimmers in this palette I just wanted to do something a bit different and where I had been playing around off camera last night and did an all matte look and I loved it so I figured I'd go down this route okay that's looking pretty so then I'm going to go in with phase, even though I've already told you that. <laughs> and firstly I'm going to use it to blend out blend out the blue. 
This is such a pretty pastel purple. And I'm just going to kind of pack it a bit more on the inner part here. And then, and then blend out. Yeah, this is a really pretty colour. So what it makes me think of is when you've got the colours around the moon, like the glow around the moon, this is, gives you that effect, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm loving how that's looking. Um, I don't believe I have an indie brand waterliner. Is Mark Jacobs classed as an indie brand? I don't know. I'll, I'll use this then. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it is or isn't. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs, what are you called? Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Lunatic. It's this kind of metallic purple. I definitely need to get some liners from some indie brands. I know that um, V Cosmetics has some. Yeah, I do really want to pick some up. It's not something I generally... I think because I've got so many pencil liners, I don't think about picking up anything, anything like that when I'm looking on the websites. Yeah, I think this metallic purple does go... Yeah, I think that goes really well. So yes, apologies if it isn't an indie brand, but it looks good. Um, so just back in with the Fenty Mascara, just, just for my lower lashes. It's a really bizarre shaped brush because it's kind of flat. Yeah, it's bizarre. But it's quite, it makes doing the lower lashes easier. I will give it that. Okay, so where are we at now? Um, blush. So, I think the blush I'm going to go in with is from Pout and Gel, which is a really small UK indie brand. One of my favourites. And you're probably all sick of hearing it, but Pout and Gel does my favourite blush formula. So I'm going in with Chatty Cathy. And this is the shade. I think this is going to go perfectly so I still haven't quite got my voice back um, after having the chest infection oh yeah this is this is beautiful I'm gonna bring some of that blush up here and then I'm just gonna go over that just with the beauty blender I used for the powder just to kind of melt it all in. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Yvette Beauty highlighter in the shade Frost. Um, I did receive this in PR, but I love it, and well, that's why I'm using it. Bit of a silly thing to say, wasn't it? It is more of a glittery highlighter. Um, so if you don't like that, then you probably won't like this. But if you don't mind that, it is stunning. Such a beautiful kind of icy highlighter. And pop a bit up here. How beautiful is that? 
gorgeous. And then just using the brush I used for the blush, I'm just going to kind of buff into the highlighter there. Loving it. I am actually going to use the the same highlighter to do my inner corner and brow bone highlight. First go with inner corner. And there we are. Just that little pop of sparkle. That looks beautiful. And then just a little bit up under the brow there. Yeah, that looks perfect. So what's left to do? It's just lips, isn't it? I think, let's go more neutral. So I'm gonna use the Metamorphosis Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candid. Just because where the eyes are so dark, it's just, I think it'd be nice to have more neutral lip. The shape of the doe fur, it's like the teardrop shape. It makes it so much easier to be more precise. And I do love this colour. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you like these uh, videos, like full face of indie brands? I can do a full face drugstore. I'm pretty sure I can do a full face of high end. If you'd like to see different versions um i've got plenty more indie makeup to do quite a few of these so yeah let me know if this is something that you like to see so yes guys everything i've used you will find listed in the description box below then right at the bottom of the description box are all of my discount codes none of them are affiliated but I know there are discount codes for Artitude Cosmetics, Madage Beauty, Makeup by Lisa yeah, if you want to check that out, then you'll find them right at the bottom. Yeah, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate you just more than you'll ever know. If you have liked this video, please do hit the like button. If you are new, if you love colourful makeup, um, seeing indie brands, some that you haven't heard of. Uh, mostly what I use on my channel are indie brands. So yeah, if all of that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do subscribe, become part of my beautiful chameleon family. And yeah, I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.